Hello Panther and welcome to the next video. In this video we will <clears throat> be discussing the derivation of so-called Hagen Poisson law Poisson or something like that and it relates a pressure difference between an infinite infinite tube uh, there is a uh, moving fluid in in this tube in this direction and it and the pressure the pressure difference between uh, between uh, from this point to to another uh, far far away uh, let's 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 say it's l distance generates uh, uh, generates um, uh, a force and there is there is this Q which is flow rate velocity which vo volumetric flow rate which uh, takes carries on the, the the fluid upwards so this is the law a is dynamic viscosity so we shall begin to derive it and as I've derived a couple a couple of videos earlier the Stokes law this one should be really easy Remember that Stokes Stokes uh, flow equations. There are this divergence of v is zero and uh, gradient of p is equal to eta Laplace of v. These are two equations, and we are going to solve them now. Firstly, let's assume we know the solution because the problem is symmetric. We will be using. Uh, Polar coordinates, this coordinate z in this direction and rho in this direction, and uh, boundary conditions are b must vanish at r is equal to r is equal to, uh, rho is equal to a must vanish, and the second boundary condition we don't have, so that, that's that's only uh, boundary condition. So now and then we will denote letter v zero, the maximum velocity. You will it will turn turn out that uh, it's uh, the shape is actually parabolic, not some random shape. It's zero and the flow is moving in this direction. It's uh, axisymmetric. So uh, and uh, the the assumption we we are making. Uh, for velocity field would be this. Let's assume that uh, the form is uh, looks like this. This is uh, this is convenient assumption. Uh, what what it uh, what it tells uh, is that uh, we are dealing with this profile, exactly this one. So it's it's really easy to deal with that. Uh, then we substitute this form in the equations and uh, for clarity this equation holds true why because if you substitute in this you get divergence of this divergence of z is zero and uh, nabla of uh, this is v o over rho times rho hat uh, dot this which is zero so this equation is zero automatically uh, I am also using this chart from from yesterday. It 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 told me what uh, the gradients are uh, and nabla of coordinates are uh, divergences and curls. So this must be rho hat dot z, which is zero. So then I will uh, use the same trick as before. I will compute. Uh, the uh, Laplacian using the fact it can be done by double curl minus double curl of v, which is what which is minus uh, minus uh, minus v curl uh, curl of this, and this is v. Uh, nabla is acting on v rho. That's v. Uh, with respect to rho times rho curl z and rho curl z rho curl z is minus phi so that's minus rho phi yes and uh, and uh, the 
second term is uh, is uh, is missing because curl of z vector is it's, it's constant field, so that's zero. So that is this, and uh, now we take another curl of v. This that's uh, uh, nublies acting on v rho. That's v uh, with respect to rho rho times rho hat cross this, and we know that uh, rho and theta are in positive order, so it's z, z hat, so that's v, rho, rho, z hat, and we also know that curl of z, uh, curl of phi hat is 1 over rho z, that's uh, plus v with respect to rho, 1 over rho z, yes, and we can we can write it like this, it's uh, some w of rho, where w is this, times z, z hat, and this is the same shape like this, it's the same form. Next, uh, we have to compute uh, the curl of this, and we already know that curl of this must be zero, because curl of uh, Laplacian of v is, is the same uh, as 1 over uh, eta times curl of this, which is zero, so this must be zero. Uh, zero, so v z z hat, and this is the same curl as as here, so it's uh, v rho phi, and this is easy. Uh, this should be zero, so v must be constant, or the w. I'm sorry, w w must be constant. W must be constant, and uh, let's uh, let's um, assume this constant constant uh, constant is is uh, W itself. It's constant constant. If we substitute in in this this uh, this equation, we will get this. Oh, this we will get this. Uh, v is equal to v rho rho plus uh, 1 over rho rho. This equation is fairly simple. Uh, it's Euler equation. If you substitute in characteristic uh, solution, you will get characteristic equation in this form, which means there is a double pole, double uh, root solutions, Double root solution which corresponds to two solutions, one with rho to the zero power and the second rho to the zero times logarithm of rho. See other equation uh, for uh, clarification. So the solution must be v is equal to a times rho plus b times logarithm of rho, natural log of rho plus a non-homogeneous solution, so a particular solution. And as you see, we can guess it because it's a really simple equation. Uh, if, if I substitute in rho squared, there is uh, two rho, uh, uh, I'm sorry, there is two, and there is two rho over rho, that's also two, so it's four here. So if I substitute one over four w rho, squared I will get uh, W itself, the constant W, that's, that's the equation for V, and uh, firstly uh, the flow, uh, if B is not zero, the flow uh, will have a, a divergence in, uh, in it, uh, an explosion term, which we don't like, so I, I assume that B is zero, the solution will neglect, and uh, there is a second condition, uh, the condition is v is equal to 0 at row is equal to a, so from this we will get that v is equal to, v is equal to, um, uh, 0 is equal to a times a plus 1 over, uh, 1 over, uh, yes, I'm certain that there should be a row to the zero, so just a, uh, just a plus one over, one over four w, 
a squared. So that means that a is equal to minus one fourth w a squared. Yes, that that is. And if we substitute in in here, we we get we get this w is unknown. W is unknown. But we know that uh, uh, the that uh, that uh, velocity uh, velocity zero. We we know the velocity the maximal velocity. So that's the second condition. Oh, I, I forgot to mention there is a second condition. The v is equal to, but it's not necessary to to add this condition. It's not necessary. Uh, so if I substitute in, I, I I would get v is equal to v v zero is a just a, and v infinity is a, which is uh, minus uh, one fourth w a squared. So if I substitute in, I would get that v is equal to, and this is uh, th this is so uh, minus four v zero over a squared. This is w. And if I substitute in, I would get I would get this. It's v zero minus rho squared over i squared. If we substitute here, it's simple. And uh, for the pressure, we know that uh, uh, gra its gradient uh, it's uh, gonna be uh, uh, eta times Laplacian of v, which we know is uh, is over there. It's w times z, so it's eta w times z, and this must be pressure can be function of rho and z, but it's a function of rho alone because because uh, this is rho hat plus uh, p z z hat, and this should be eta w z hat. So so that means that. Um, and that uh, this must be uh, constant of rho. It's, it's, uh, the pressure is not a function of rho. So pressure is only a function of z, and this function is p is equal to eta w uh, z, uh, which means that the pressure is because we know w. What is w? w is minus four minus four times uh, v0 over a squared times z. That's the equation for uh, pressure and I forgot a the dynamic viscosity. This plus some pressure zero but uh, let's assume uh, we don't know the pressure zero at uh, particle cross section. Well, uh, what, uh, what uh, argen poisson law tells us is that the pressure difference is proportional to L, which is true because uh, if we take a difference of this or the derivative, you will get that uh, that's not uh, Laplacian, that's the difference. Be careful of it. Uh, difference in P is exactly one, min one minus four v zero over a squared minus uh, over. 4 v0 l that's we assume that we are taking pressure difference between uh, places which are l uh, distance separated l times times what times uh, eta uh, over a squared there's zero difference so eta over a squared we are almost done uh, we now have to uh, compute um, the a volumetric flow rate, which is uh, uh, which is equal to amount of a fluid, uh, the volume of a fluid which uh, which uh, flows uh, through a particular cross section uh, for a unit of in a unit of time. So it must be an in so integral uh, of the cross section cross section a. There is a cross section A uh, of of V. That's a velocity profile dS, which is uh, Jacobian A times 
I'm sorry, row, because it's changing, row times uh, d row d theta, because v is not depending on theta, that must be, uh, that is, this can be integrated, and there is 2 pi uh, integral from 0 to a, and velocity field is, is right, right here, so it's v0, 1 minus rho squared over a squared, rho d rho, and it's a simple integral because it's it's uh, 2 pi v0, and there is a rho a squared over 2, a squared over 2, minus rho uh, cubed, which is rho to the fourth power over 4, over a squared, it's minus a squared over 4, and we arrive at this uh, equation that uh, that uh, that 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 is that is what uh, one over that is uh, one over pi v zero a squared over two yes exactly right this and from this you can you can substitute in this expression v zero because v zero is then 2 times volumetric flow rate over pi a squared, if you substitute from this. So, uh, pressure difference from this equation, from this equation, must be 2 times 2 is minus 8. There is, there is L, and there is also eta over pi, a to the fourth times Q volumetric volumetric uh, flow rate, which is exactly the same as we uh, were trying to to show Hagen Hagen Poisson law. So that's it. I hope you enjoy it, and see you next time.